Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. Today, we want to continue from where we stopped last week by looking at fraction spent and fraction left. So, let's take an example and see what we have for today. Dan reduced some money from the bank. He gave three quarter of eight to his son and one fifth to his daughter. If he had 100 cities left, how much did he take from the bank? So here, when you read this question, you can see that there is no remainder. So here, you have to calculate the total fraction spent. Okay? Total fraction spent. And how much did he spend? He said he gave three quarter of it to his son and one fifth to his daughter. So we have to calculate total fraction spent. And this becomes the amount in terms of fraction he gave to his son and daughter. And so you have 3 over 4 plus 1 over 5. So you perform the addition by finding the LCM. So this gives us LCM of uh, 20. So we have this as our LCM. Now 4 will go into 25 times. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 will go into 24 times. 4, 1 is 4. So we have our fraction spent as 19 over 20. Now last week we said that once you are able to find your fraction spent, then you calculate for your fraction left. And how do you calculate for your fraction left? Your fraction left is equal to the total fraction minus the fraction spent. If you want fraction left, sorry, your fraction left is your total fraction minus your fraction spent. And our fraction spent is 19 over 20. So subtracting your fraction left, fraction spent from your total fraction gives you your fraction left. So this whole number being one, we can write it as one over one because every whole number is over one. Then we also find our LCM. What will be our LCM of the denominators? It's going to be 20 because one can go into 20, 20 can go into itself. So one into 20, 20 times. 20 times one is 20. Now 20 into 20, one. One times 19 is 19. So our fraction left becomes one out of what? 20. So because we were able to calculate for our fraction spent, we subtracted it from the total fraction to get the fraction left. Now when we're reading, the question said, if he had 100 cities left, how much did he take from the bank? Now, in terms of fraction, the amount he took from the bank is 1. In terms of fraction, because 1 is the total fraction. So in terms of fraction, the amount he took from the bank is 1. Now, this is the fraction left. In terms of Ghana cities, the amount left has been stated in the question that he is having 100 cities left. So if I want the amount he took from the bank, then I will equate the fraction left, which is 1 over 20, to the amount left, which is 100 cities. So if the fraction left is equal to 100 cities, then if I want the total amount, the total amount, I don't know. So I'll represent it with a variable. Let's see why. Then the fraction in um, if the fraction equivalent to the amount he took from the bank is 1 because 1 is the total fraction. So now that I want y, I will cross multiply. And with this one, I am calculating the amount we drew. So cross multiplying will give you this multiplying this as 1 over 20y. Then this will multiply this, giving you 100. Because this times this is 100. And this gives you a fraction or an equation involving fraction. 
Now by solving, we have to clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by the LCM, which is 20. So we have 20 times 1 over 20y is equal to 100 times 20. So 20 cancel 20, y is equal to 200 Ghana cities. So if this y is the amount he redue, and you have been asked to calculate the amount he took from the bank, then we are going to say, therefore, he took 200, sorry, 2,000 Ghana cities from the bank. So this is the money he took from the bank. So with this question, you will notice that there is no remainder. So since there is no remainder, then what do you do? You just solve for it, equate it to the, solve for the fraction spent, subtract it from the fraction left, uh, subtract it from the total fraction to know your fraction left. Equate the fraction left to the amount left, equate the total fraction to the amount reduced, since we don't know, represent the variable you cross out. So the amount you took from the bank is 2,000 Ghana cities. Now, in some cases, the fraction that will be spent will be spent on a remaining amount. And we should know how to calculate. So in a situation or in a question where a fraction was spent on a remaining and again on a remaining we should know how we can calculate for it. So let's take the example two, which is the second question for the day. I read, you have spent one fifth of his salary, of his monthly salary on food. Half of the remaining on rent. And one quarter of what still remain on drinks. If he still had 90 cities left, find, hey, find his monthly his salary per month, which is the same as his monthly salary, or B, how much did he spend on food and rent? Now with this question, you can see that a fraction was spent on a remaining amount. So they are saying that he spent one over two of the remaining and spent one fourth of what still remain. So this person is having double portion of the what? Of the remaining. So let's see how we can answer questions like this. So let's go again. Yao spent one over five, which is one fifth of his monthly salary on food. Now in terms of total fraction, Always, and in terms of fraction, always take the monthly salary as one. So we are going to say the monthly salary, the monthly salary is equal to one. Always, if we are working for the total salary. So the monthly salary in terms of fraction is equivalent to one. Now, you have spent one fifth of his monthly salary on food. So the amount he spent on food, amount spent on food. They are saying that he spent one fifth of his monthly salary. So if his monthly salary is one in terms of fraction, then he's going to spend one over five of, which is multiplication, of the monthly salary. So one over five of the monthly salary, which is one. And this gives you 1 over 5. So this is the amount we spent on food. Now, after spending this amount, he spent 1 over 2 of the remaining on rent. So for the amount spent on rent, he spent half of the remaining. So for me to know the remaining, I will subtract this amount he spent on food from the total fraction. So I'll calculate for remaining remaining fraction. And this will give me 1 minus 1 over 5. He is having 1 and he has spent 1 over 5 for food on food. So I have to know the remaining fraction. 
because he spent half of the remaining on rent. So every whole number is over one. So solving for this will give me an LCM of five. So one into five, five. Five times this will give you five. Five into this one, one times this will give you one. So you have your remaining fraction as four over five. So this is now the remaining fraction. So now this is your remaining fraction. They said he spent half of the remaining on rent. So amount, amount spent on rent. He spent what? Half of the remaining. And this is the remaining. So let's calculate the amount he spent on rent by multiplying half of what remain. This remain. Since of is multiplication. And for multiplication, we do not find LCM. So multiply your numerator by your numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So that gives you 4 over what? 10. Now this 4 over 10, you can see that we can cancel out. So we can say year 2, uh, 2 year 2, 2 year 5. So this will give you 2 over 5. We cancel out because we can cancel. So we did. Good. Now this is the amount he spent on rent. 5 over 2. And this is the remaining, the balance. And he has spent this of the balance. When you continue, and one fourth of what still remain on drinks. This is what is left with. Now the remaining four over five, he has spent two over five from it. And this two over five, they said he has spent another one over four of the remaining. So if he is left with this and has spent this on rent, then I have to know my remaining fraction again. So I'm going to calculate remaining fraction. Is left with this. And I spent this. So I'm going to say 4 over 5 minus 2 over 5. So here, our denominators are the same. So we just pick 1 and subtract the numerators, which is going to give you 2 over 5. So this is now the remaining fraction after spending this from this. Now he says that he has spent one quarter of what still remained. And this is now the remainder. And he spent what? One fourth of it. So let's calculate one fourth of it. So we have amount spent on drinks. He spent one fourth of what still remain. And what do you have? You have the remaining as two over five. So two over five. And this will give you multiply two. This will give you ten. Ah, sorry, twenty. Sorry. So two over twenty. Now you can see that we can cancel out. So what do we do? Two year one. 2 year 10. This will give you 1 over 10. Remember we talked about simplifying fractions to their, to their lowest form. So if you can simplify, you have to simplify. So this is the amount spent on what? On drinks. From the remaining no, this one. Now he is left with this. And he has spent 1 over 5 by 1 over 10 from this. So I have to calculate my fraction left. Now what am I left with? If I'm left with this, and I've spent this from it, now what am I left with? So I'm going to calculate for my fraction left. And the fraction left, I am going to subtract this one from this, so it has this. So I have my LCM as 10. 5 will go into 10, 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 10 will go into 10, 1. 1 times 1 is 1, giving me 3 over 10. So this 3 over 10 is the fraction left. Now this is the amount he is left with in terms of fraction. 
because he was he was left with after spending the food he was left with this and he spent half of this so now that he was left with this he has spent two over five on rent so i'll subtract again to know my remaining fraction now this is that i'm left with he has spent one over four of this so now what am i left with if i'm left with this and i'll spend one over four of it then i'll subtract and i'm now left with what three over ten now when you read the question it says that after spending all the money he is still left with 90 ghana cities so we are going to equate the fraction left to the amount left so that we calculate for his salary per month so we are going to say that a a which is his salary per month we can say that this is equal to a is equal to his monthly salary now in terms of ghana cities we don't know his monthly salary so we are going to say the um, salary per month salary per month let's say um a okay should be a now this is the fraction left three over ten and in terms of ghana cities they are saying that if he is still left with 90 Ghana cities. So equate the fraction left to the amount left. And in terms of fraction, the total amount is 1. So we are going to equate the 3 over 10 to 90. Because this is the fraction left. This is the amount left. Now the salary per month is 1 in terms of fraction. And this 1 is equal to A, which I don't know. So to solve for this, I will cross multiply. So if this multiplies this, it's going to give you 3 over 10 A, which is equal to this times this is 90 Ghana cities. So I want A. I'll clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by the LCM, which is 10. So 10 times 3 over 10 A is equal to 90 times 10. So this 10 will cancel out this 10, giving you 3A is equal to 900. You want A. You want A. But 3 is attached to A. What do you do? You divide both sides by 3. So this will cancel this. 3A1, 3A300. So now A is equal to 300. Remember, we said salary per month is A. So if A is 300, then we are going to say, therefore, his, his, salary, his, salary, his salary per month is 300 Ghana cities. And we have done with the A. That is a salary per what? Per month. When it comes to B, he says, how much did he spend on food? Now, if you go back to the question, the question said he spent 1 over 5 of his monthly salary. So if his monthly salary is 300, then if I want food, food is 1 over 5 of his monthly salary. What is the monthly salary? 300 Ghana cities. So 5 can cancel 300, 5 year 1, 5 year 60, because 6, 5, 30. So we have the amount he spent on food is what? Three, uh, 60 Ghana cities. Because the person said, you have spent one fifth of his salary. And so we are saying that the monthly salary is 300 Ghana cities. So this 300 Ghana cities, he spent one fifth of the 300 on food. Now calculate the amount he spent on what? On rent. Rent. He says he spent one over two of the remaining on rent. One over two of the remaining. So if he's having 300 Ghana cities and he has spent 60 Ghana cities, what is the remaining? So let's calculate um, the amount on rent is one over two of the remaining. That means 300 Ghana cities minus 60. 
and this will give you 1 over 2 times if you subtract 60 from this we are going to get 240 so what is the half of 240 2 year 1 2 year 4 and this will give you 120 Ghana cities he spent one fifth of his salary on food so this is it. This is the meaning of the expression. So one fifth of his monthly salary, 600. And he spent half of the remaining. So if he is having 300 and he has spent 60 cities, what is the remaining? Subtract. That gives you this. And you get your answer as this. So all that we were solving here, we were solving in order to get his what? His salary per month or monthly salary. And this is how we solve a question on fraction left and fraction spent. Kindly send us your question by commenting on our video so that we can know whether we are making a progress or influencing your understanding in mathematics. This brings us to the end of fraction and word problem involving fraction and everything about fraction. The next time that we are going to meet we will be talking about factorization. Stay tuned and we will start geometric construction with you as soon as possible before the end of 2023 BEC. Thank you for staying tuned and please subscribe. God bless you for sharing. Jesus' name. Bye-bye.